Maybe Something Beautiful, How Art Transformed a Neighborhood by F. Isabel Campoy and Teresa Howell, illustrated by mural artist Rafael Lopez. This wonderful story is going to be read to you by the staff at the Kenneth C. Coombs School in Mashpee. In the heart of a great city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe, and because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way to school one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Miss Lopez, the lady with the sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman, who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Mira taped a glowing sun onto the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. The next day, Myra saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held up his fingers up in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see, Myra asked. Maybe something beautiful. The man replied. Then just like that, he dipped a brush in the paint. Bam, pow, the shadow scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the sky. Who are you, Mara asked. I'm an artist, he said, a muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Mara a brush. Then come on. Mira dipped it in the loudest color she saw. Meow-wee! The wall lit up like sunshine. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Mira added color, punch, and pizzazz. Soon Mr. Sachs joined in. Then came others. Everyone painted to the rhythm. Salsa, merengue, bebop. Even Mira's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party until... The policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her brush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat, then paused. May I paint with you, he asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush and the music started again. Teachers and papas joined in, babies too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. Colors spread through the streets. So did Joy. Wherever For Mira and, and the man, man went, went, art followed like the string, string of a kite. kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine, and everybody danced. Together, they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. When their clothes were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down to rest, except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide, then pulled everything together in big sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Mira added one more bird way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. I hope you enjoyed the story. Mira's city reminds me of the Kum School, where we have beautiful artwork made by our students all over the walls. Special thank you to the Coalition for Children for this book for many of the preschool classrooms and the child care centers around the, the town of Mashpee. Also, so just so you know that this book is going to be read to boys and girls, children right across the United States on October 25th. So I hope you enjoy this book.